5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to our channel. Alhamdulillah we have finished discussing the six pillars of faith which consists of six video parts. For viewers who haven't watched it, please click the link in the description so that you get complete information and don't get confused, misunderstood. This time we want to continue discussing the five pillars of Islam, let's start. Welcome to our channel. It is with great pleasure that we present this video to you with the hope that it will inspire and enrich knowledge in your life. On this occasion, we would like to discuss the five pillars of Islam which are divided into five parts. The first episode was, Shahada. Ashadu Allah ilaha Allah. Wa Ashadu Anna Muhammadar Rasura. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In the midst of the bustle and hustle of a world that is constantly evolving, we often get stuck in routines that separate us from the true meaning of life. It's time for us to pause, take a deep breath, and reflect on the most important things in life. In this video, we will discuss one of the fundamental concepts that accompanies our lives as humans, namely, Shahada, or Testimony of Faith in Islam. The Shahada is not just words spoken, but is a living principle that changes the way we see the world and our relationship with the Creator. In simple but meaningful language, Shahada conveys that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. Through in-depth explanations and valuable guidance, we will understand the meaning of this Shahada and how it can affect every aspect of our lives. We will explore the meaning of faith, justice, love and mercy contained in this Shahada. Let's open our minds and hearts together to get to know more about the Shahada and make it a source of strength in living our daily lives. We will see how this faith can give deeper meaning to life's moments of joy as well as challenges. So, without further ado, let's begin this spiritual journey towards a deeper understanding of the Shahada. Get ready to feel the warmth and peace that can only be found in our relationship with the Creator. Thanks for joining us on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss other interesting videos to come. The first pillar of Islam is Shahada. Let's start our journey together in understanding and living the Shahada, and hopefully this video can benefit us all. The Shahada is a statement of testimony or a confession of faith in Islam. The Shahada is one of the pillars of Islam, which means it is a pillar or foundation in the Islamic religion that every Muslim must believe in and accept. The creed consists of two simple sentences but have deep meanings. First sentence, La ilaha illallah, which means, there is no God who has the right to be worshipped but Allah. In this sentence, we are declaring that only Allah is worthy of our worship and we must not worship or glorify anyone other than Him. This sentence acknowledges the oneness of Allah and rejects the worship of other gods or objects that have no right to be worshipped. The second sentence, Muhammad Rasulullah, which means, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. In this sentence, we acknowledge that the Prophet Muhammad was the last messenger of Allah who was sent to bring his revelation and provide guidance to mankind. By saying this sentence, we acknowledge the leadership and guidance that came from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as an exemplary example in living life as a Muslim. By reciting the Shahada earnestly and with sincere faith, one officially becomes a Muslim. The Shahada is the basis for building a strong relationship between an individual and Allah, and is also a commitment to follow Islamic teachings in daily life. The Shahada is also often recited by every Muslim on various occasions, such as during prayers, at birth or death, or at other important moments. It is also one of the requirements in carrying out other acts of worship in Islam, such as prayer, fasting, zakat and pilgrimage. The Shahada has a very important role in Islam because it recognizes the oneness of Allah and the leadership of the Prophet Muhammad. It also reflects an individual's commitment to live according to the teachings of the Islamic religion, carry out religious obligations, and follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad in all aspects of life. In addition, the Shahada is also a sign of a person's being a legitimate Muslim. The Shahada is one of the main requirements for becoming a valid Muslim. By reciting the Shahada with sincere and earnest faith, 
one officially enters the Islamic religion and is recognized as a Muslim by the Muslim community. The creed is also the basis for carrying out other acts of worship in Islam, such as prayer, fasting, zakat and pilgrimage. Strengthens relationship with Allah. The creed forms a solid foundation in building an intimate relationship between the individual and Allah. By reciting the Shahada, one expresses intention and commitment to establish a close relationship with Allah, through worship, devotion and obedience to His commands. Awakening the meaning of life. The creed invites individuals to contemplate the true meaning of life, reminding them of the true purpose of life, which is to worship and serve God. The Shahada triggers thoughts and reflections in facing life's challenges, and directs individuals to live life according to Islamic principles. So, the intent and purpose of the creed is to acknowledge the oneness of Allah, follow the leadership of the Prophet Muhammad, become a legitimate Muslim, strengthen the relationship with Allah, and awaken the meaning of life as an obedient and submissive servant of Allah. The legal basis of the Shahada in the Quran. Surah al-Baqarah, verse 256. Arabic Latin. La ikraha fid din, or rusaidu min al gayi Fa may yak for bitta guti wa yu back quote mim billahi fa kadistam saka bil, your waddle waska lanfi samalaha, wallahu samiyun alim. Meaning, there is no compulsion to enter religion, Islam, verily, the true path is clear from the wrong path. Therefore, whoever disobeys Taghut and believes in Allah, then indeed he has held on to a very strong knot that will not break. And Allah is all hearing, all knowing. Surah Ali Imran, verse 18. Arabic Latin. Sayyid Allahu anahu la ilaha illa huwa wal mala backquote ikadu wa ulo, ilmi ka backquote imam bil chiest, la ilaha illa hawal, azizul hakim. Meaning, Allah states that there is no God but He, who has the right to be worshipped, who upholds justice. The angels and people of knowledge, also say so. There is no God but Him, who has the right to be worshipped, the most mighty, the most wise. Surah Muhammad, verse 19. Arabic Latin. Falam anahu la ilaha illallahu wasdag fur la zambika walil mu backquote manina wal mu backquote manat. Wallahu yalamu mudakalabakam wa maswakam. Meaning. So know that there is no God but Allah and ask forgiveness for your sins and for the sins of the believers, men and women. And Allah knows where you strive and where you live. Hadith narrated by Bukhari, Kitab Sahih al-Bukhari, Chapter al-ILM. From Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Actions depend on their intentions, and each person will be rewarded according to what he intended. Whoever migrates to Allah and his messenger, then his migration was for Allah and his messenger. And whoever his migration was for the world he was after, or for a woman he married, then his migration was for what he was pursuing and intended. In this hadith, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that one's goals and intentions in carrying out an action are very important. When someone recites the Shahada, his intention must be sincere to present himself to Allah and follow his religion. The Shahada is the foundation of faith for a Muslim, and a sincere intention in saying it will bring blessings in daily deeds. Thus brief information regarding the two Shahada sentences in the pillars of Islam, which are a very important foundation for a Muslim's belief. Agar must be a firm grip and be of great priority and benefit in spiritual development and individual worship. Thank you for watching, hope this is useful, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of our newest content. Your opinion and support means a lot to us. See you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum. Happy greetings and let's maintain world peace. Differences are beautiful.